Hi, welcome to 20 Days of Christmas Sewing. I'm Kim, you're watching the Dorothy's Daughter channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So thank you so much too for just your support and kindness about the tardiness of the videos. Um, a lot of you expressed um, understanding and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It's trivia time again. In the movie Elf, what is the very first rule of the Elf's Code of Ethics? And I will share that at the end. Do you know? I didn't. And I love this movie, so it's pretty obscure. We'll see if you know it. All right. So I um, wanted to do something special for my brother a few years ago. And his kids were all home. And one of his daughters was getting ready to ship out to the mission field um, very far away. And he wasn't going to see them for three years. And since all of their kids were in one place, which rather doesn't happen very much. Um, I took photos for them um, at, I, when I was down in San Antonio. For them to all be there and for me to be there at the same time is a rarity. So I took photos for them and um, put them on a quilt for him. So I had never really quilted before. That was pretty much my first quilt ever. And um, I just took five inch squares and sewed them together. I figure how hard can that be? <laughs> but it actually is a little harder than it looks. Um, but anyway, I ended up with five by five squares and I got accent fabrics and did um, nine across and 12 down, which fit perfectly on a crib size um, quilt batting. So um, that turned out so well that I decided to do one for my mother-in-law for her birthday. And that really turned out well. And um, then my granddaughters wanted to do some quilting. So um, I, we chose pictures together and I did, actually I did four by four squares for them because I did just a little bit smaller project. And what I did was um, every time that they came over to spend the night, they sewed a row. Everybody had their uh, own little box of pictures and, and uh, other fabrics, and they would sew each sew a row. So by the time we started in like October, and so then by the time Christmas rolled around, we were able to put the entire quilt together for their mom and dad for Christmas. And it really turned out so good, and they were so proud of it. And I hope I have a picture. If I do, I'll put it up here. I'm self-conscious now because a little bit ago, I filmed this entire video. And at the end, I realized I had lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> I mean, bad. So I hope it's not there again. <laughs> anyway, so then I decided I wanted to do one for us, but I don't do anything normal. If you haven't noticed that by now, I've always got to put my own spin on things. Well, my husband and I were taking a car trip and we spent an entire day debating what the 100, top 100 albums of all time were. And of course, our favorites are all in there, like the Beatles, James Taylor, yes, Bob Dylan, um, you name it, Crosby, Stills and Nash. Um, we had all these different albums in there. So um, what I did was I took the top 20 to 25 and I decided to make a quilt. So I found this site that has high resolution album covers. And if I can still find it, I'll put the link down below. Unless, unless I think it might be a copyright problem, then I won't. Um, but anyway, I own all these albums, so I could have taken all these pictures myself. Anyway, um, these are the album covers. And um, I put them all into a quilt. And I went with browns because that's kind of the, there's a lot of guitars hanging in that room. So there's a lot of brown. Um, I even stitched little guitars in some of the squares, if you can see. Um, this was so much fun. I don't know, are you seeing some of your favorites in here? Um, this is all 70s, pretty much stuff. Um, John Denver. Um, I think American Pie's in here somewhere. Uh, Tea for the Tillerman, remember that one? Chicago. Um, you know, Moody Blues. Anyway, I had a great time making this quilt. And um, so tomorrow, I'm going to show you how to put photos on any fabric. 
So you can um, come up with your own ideas for what you would like to do with them. And I think it would be um, just an awesome gift for someone. And um, so tomorrow I'll show you how to put them on fabric. And then um, the following video, I will show you um, a little project that you can do. Um, so the sky's the limit of what you can do with photographs and fabric. So, And then the next day after, I'm going to go ahead and give you my um, workshop that I used to give um, the public on, uh, it's called From Fuzzy to Fabulous. And I used to teach um, that photography workshop as part of my photography business. And it really is taking better photos with any camera. So after showing you these photo quilt projects um, and photo fabric projects, um, then I'm going to show you how to take better um, photographs at your family gatherings this Christmas. So hopefully, um, even though that's not a sewing uh, video necessarily, I think it'll be helpful to you. And there are definitely sewing projects that you can uh, put that information to use. So anyway, I just wanted to show this to you. This is probably a quick little video as some of these 20 are going to be just sharing a quick idea. Think about what you would do if you can put photos on fabric. Think of what you would do and um, maybe put in the comments if you have any ideas. Um, and I've got a few more to show you. All right, now for today's trivia answer. What is the first rule in the code of elf ethics? And the answer to that is treat every day like Christmas. And I love that because Jesus wasn't born just for Christmas day. He was born for the whole year. So um, with that, I hope that Christmas time is treating you well. It is me. I'm feeling better. I'm doing well. And I'm excited about all the projects I'm sewing. And um, anyway, have a wonderful Christmas. And I'll see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas. Happy sewing.